Hi kids! Today we will learn some basics required to be studied before learning the concept of bridges. So let's start. What is a load? It is the weight experienced by a structure and the load is of three types. The first one is dead load. It is the weight of the structure itself. It remains constant. Dead load does not change or remains constant. For example, it is the weight of materials used to make the bridge. So, dead load of the bridge is the weight of the bridge itself. Next is the live load. It is the additional weight experienced by the structure. Like weight of travelers and vehicles experienced by the bridges. This type of weight changes over time. Number of travelers and vehicles never remain the same over time. So this weight is never constant. There is also one more type of weight that does not remain constant, and it is environmental weight. Examples of environmental weight are snowfall, rain, and wind. Any structure or any bridge experiences this type of weight. It can be weight of the rainfall. It can be weight of the snowfall. It can be weight of the blowing wind. But it does not remain constant. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. What is force? Force is action of push or pull and results from the interaction of two objects. In the case of a bridge, the live load that is the load of travelers and vehicles that pass by the bridge acts as a push force on the bridge. Environmental forces, rain, snow, and wind acts as a push force on the bridge. And the weight of the bridge itself acts as a dead load on the bridge. Bridge deck. Bridge deck is a passage which is used by people or their vehicles to cross the bridge. The deck of the bridge may be made up of concrete steel, or wood. Span of the bridge. In case of a bridge, it is the distance between two supports. Like here, in this bridge, span is the distance between two supports. And it's a single span bridge. That is, there is single continuous slab with two supports at each end. Now, here is an example of double span bridge. There are two such portions in bridge where there is no support in between. This is one span and this is second span. There is support at each end of a span. Now, here we have a multiple span bridge. There are numerous spans joined together, and there is support at each end of the span. In the case of bridges, span can be simple, continuous, and cantilever. Any of these spans may be constructed using beams, girders, or trusses. Now, Let's see span of an arch bridge in case of arch bridges. This is simple or single span of an arch bridge. Now, 
Let's see the spans in case of suspension bridges and cable stayed bridges. Remember, suspension bridges and cable stayed bridges are the longest bridges in the world. This is a single span suspension bridge. And this is a multiple span suspension bridge. Material. A bridge can be made up of any material like concrete, steel, stones, and even combination of any of these. This is a bridge made up of concrete. This is a bridge made up of steel. And this is a bridge where steel and concrete both are used. Form of the bridge. The form of the bridge can be a beam, arch, or a truss, suspension, or a cable stayed bridge. We will learn about different types of bridges in our next assignment. Different types of bridges are made up of different materials and every type of material has certain elasticity. That is, it has ability to change shape while a force is acting on it and then move back into its original shape. And this is because of this elasticity that bridges experience stress without breaking. Many types of stress that a bridge faces are compression, tension, bending, torsion, and even shearing. So kids, today we learned some basics about the bridges. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye.